Hi guys and welcome to Imbizo. This is still health a sister art. So for the month of August, we had to kick the guys out. Like we had no choice. We had to get them out. Um, so because it's all about the women. I mean, it's all about the ladies. And what we're doing for the month of August is we have opened up our channel um, and our social media platforms to position all the women that have businesses or would like to discuss a particular topic. It's all about the women because it is our month as women and we deserve it anyway um thank you to everyone that's liked that shared that's commented that's inboxing us we really appreciate your support and engagement please have a look at all the other videos that we've done for the month of august and just support the women support the businesses and let's get the engagement and give them the airtime they deserve enjoy guys thank you this week we caught up with Zepiso. she takes us through how she started her pages, Swanky RSA. She shares some hopes for the future, how you too can get started, and also tells us what her superpower is as a woman. Enjoy. So Swanky is a nickname I was given before I was born. Um, my real name is Tepi Somanya Pelo. Um, I'm born and bred in Cape Town. I'm 30 years, uh, turning 31 this year. I am a mother to a 10 year old son. Um, I am a sister. I've got three sisters. I am a daughter, obviously, to my mother and the father. And um, yeah, I'm a friend. I have a close so called of friends, close people that I consider sisters outside friendships. And yeah, I'm a partner and a big dreamer. So I am a vlogger, I'm on radio, I'm a presenter, um, I am a DJ, I am C, I am... Uh, yeah, what else didn't I add? Like I'm a jack of all trades. What I do is I... I've been going for everything that I'm good at, you know, and I've made it a point that it's something that I'm adding into my list of expertise, you know. So, I, you could say I'm a public figure. I'm a public figure. I'm an inspiring public figure because we got so I could sing, you know. Nothing's going to stop me because I can. I can act because nothing's going to stop me because I'm the girl that you can. So, I'm a very multi-talented individual. I've understood that from a very long time about myself. So I'm someone who goes for everything that I can do. Like I said, at the moment I vlog, I've got radio experience, emceeing, presenting, and yeah. So that's me for now, that's what I do. And I've got a show called Swanky Chats on Facebook, which I'll be changing now because I'm gonna be doing it in a recording form rather than live in form. And I've got a show also for Instagram called The Scoop with Swanky. So, yeah, that's me. So, I joined the industry in 2017 after being retrenched from my last job. I was working as an events, um, events coordinator, brand coordinator, and um, communications coordinator. So, when the company didn't need my, 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 my expertise or my, when my, position rather became redundant um i was retrenched and finding work was a bit hard so that's when i decided to go to dj zinke school uh for the fuse academy for girls where i went to go train to be a dj and i came back um after the course and then i started kind of discovering my strong points within the industry djs are my favorite um um craft i could say but it doesn't bring the food definitely i'm more of a speaker i love speaking i love radio i love presenting i love using this muscle this that's me i am just someone who is chasing dreams like i said i could be singing tomorrow as long as i use my voice i'm good I enjoy motivating. I love motivating. Motivating for me is like a way of life. It's not even no longer a it's just words of sharing or sharing of words. No, it's 
it has definitely become me. So that's me. That's what. That's my journey. And um, yeah, it, it hasn't been long since I've been in the industry, but I think this is one of my shortest, longest, um, shortest, longest journey I've ever, 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 ever been part of. And yeah, otherwise, so good so far. I'm doing my own thing, creating my own content, and. It is amazing just to see other kids how they do things. I am normally someone who sits back and see, mm, is this how it's done? You know, I do take my time with things. Sometimes I'll try something and then I'll pause it because I wanna bring it back stronger. You know, without it being diluted. So yeah, that's that's my journey. My hopes for the future at this point in time is just to get my my foot in the industry. You know, I think that I speak for everyone. We, everyone who's a dreamer, is waiting for that door to open. That door that will open many doors. Like I said, my first love is radio. I love radio. Even in my head, I've positioned which radio station I'm going to be within. Oh, I'm so nice. So, like, I am that person. I'm so specific with my dreams. So my hopes now is to get a, um, that that big that door. Does it stop me from doing what I do in the meantime? No. In the meantime, we push, push, push our own content until such time someone says, "Hey, sweetie, but you've got something," and I'm like, "Hey, of course I do. Let's do this." Simple as that. So my hopes is just to get myself out there, and my way, most importantly, and yeah, keep pushing. What keeps me motivated? Being able to help people. That keeps me motivated. That and that makes me yearn following my dreams. That gives me that, you know, swanks you can do this. Because I know that with the doors I am attracting, it's those doors that are going to not open doors for me. They are so big, bruh. Like, they will let everyone in. That is my doors. That's That keeps me motivated. That keeps me going. That keeps me trying. That keeps me cemented. And that, that, that keeps my faith going. Because I know that the gifts I have, these talents, are not for me more than they are for people. You know, so, yeah. Um... Giving up is not an option. Throwing the towel is not an option. When things don't go my way, I tell myself, this is not the door. Because not everyone's going to fit in, in this door. Because remember, I'm that one who's taking everyone with, you know. Um, so, but do I stop knocking on those doors? No. When I get about, oh, oh no, I tell myself, no means next opportunity. I keep knocking and knocking and knocking until I'll knock on doors that are fit for everyone that has to because that's me so that's what keeps me motivated and um just knowing that i can do this and knowing that i deserve this this is a life that i was brought here for keeps me motivated so yeah that is my biggest motivation the fact that i can also do what i love every day you know um my family keeps me motivated my friends keeps me motivated because i know if i do it they come with me so it goes back to them me doing it for them for us for everybody else so yeah so if you are a content creator and you've got this brilliant idea and no one understands it, you're in a good, 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 good path. Normally, if someone understands your content, everyone understands your content, it means someone already is doing it. If no one understands it, it means you're in the right path. So go for it. Don't wait for ring lights. Don't wait for iPhones. Don't wait for cameras. Don't wait for a perfect, perfect scene. No. Just do your makeup, dress up, find your corner suite. Catch, find good light, you know. Um, there's space for everyone. Everyone has a purpose, like I said. Everyone has a purpose. Go for it. Don't be shy. Don't still worry about who, what are people going to say. People are going to say anyway. 
when you don't do it, but you had this and that, you could have just went for it. So go for it. All the best. You can do it. Share your ideas. Align yourself with people who are who are in the understanding of this whole content creation. Um, whatever you want to do, find who are your competitors. And in a very, 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 very clean competitiveness, see who's doing it, see how they're doing it, see who else is doing it, see how they do it, incorporate, put yourself in the mix, shake it, and save it. Simple as that. So please, go for it all. Do not back down. Don't, don't question yourself. Just, 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 just do it. And good luck. So my superpower as a woman is my voice. Very often I get into spaces and I will be quiet. And you'll find people chance taking. And once I open my mouth, they're like, A small body for such a large voice and I'm like it makes sense it wouldn't make sense being tall and having this deep voice if it were me as a swank people go as far as describing me oh swank you're the short one with the deep voice yes that's me so that is my power and the fact that with my voice I empower other women to find their voices because when I found mine I was like this it's what I've been looking for for the longest of time in my life. So, yeah, my power is my voice. The fact that I love helping other women and um, everyone, in fact. But like I said, I'm very, very, very pro woman empowerment. I love my woman. Yo, I love my woman. Yo, even I love women. Um, yeah. I'm one of those people who wants to break those norms that women can't work together. Let's find why they can't. Why are we capitalizing that they can't? Let's find why they can't so that we can sort the can't so it can be the can't. You get? But yeah, my voice is my weapon, my power, my... My don't mess with me, my love me, my... Okay, sweetie, my... You know? So yeah. That is my power, my voice. And yeah. <laughs>